Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the Redbox TV application to your Fire Sticks or Android TVs. It's an amazing app that you can use to watch live TV as well as live sports online and totally for free. And the app itself is really easy to set up. And now, without any further ado, let me show you the easy way to get Redbox TV to your Fire Stick device. And first of all, you'll have to get the app code and loader to your Fire Stick. You can actually get it totally for free from your official Amazon App Store. To do so, just go to search on your device. And in the search bar, we got to start typing the loader. So let's do it. And as you can see, the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So click on it. And that's the app that you got to get to your device. But after you get the loader, it is not over yet. Because you still have to set it up. So now, in order to actually stop the loader, what we gotta do is go to settings on your Fire Stick. Let's do it right now. Click on that button with a gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Let's open it. And from here, we'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case and you are unable to find developer options anywhere, no need to worry because it's actually really easy to make one appear. You just have to go to about, select Fire TV Stick, and now you need to start clicking on the middle button on your remote and do it fast. So let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared for us right here. Open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then go to install known apps. From here, all you gotta do is just locate downloader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. And there it is. We open it. And there is the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your Fire Stick device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast. They got the great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Italy right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important, if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of this video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. And now, let's go straight to the list of apps on your Firestick device. And there it is, we open it. And there's the downloader, which we gotta use right now. So we open downloader, then just wait for the app to load for you. And after that, on the left side menu, you gotta click on home. Then in that search bar, we have to start entering the code. So the code is gonna be one, seven, five, six, one. So once again, it is one, seven, five, six, one. That's 
the code we're gonna use. So enter it and then click on go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about flower sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly helps me a lot and that way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now when the website has opened, what you gotta do is just scroll it down a bit until you find the download for Android button. That's exactly what we're looking for. Let's click on download. And now in a couple of moments, the download of the app is going to start. Usually it does not take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Since I got a pretty fast connection, it took us only a couple of seconds. Then we need to click on install and wait for the Redbox TV app to finish installing on your Fire TV. And now when it is actually installed, do not click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way you'll have an option to delete the installation files, as you don't really need them anymore on your device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way you get rid of unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important, because by default your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much of free space available anyway. And now, if we go to the list of apps on your Fire Stick, we open it, and there's the Red Box TV, which we have just installed. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, Red Box TV is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and therefore, it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.